Hello everyone. Hope you didn't think we were done with the ghost ship. Cause there's something else to oh, do here. God. There's a ghost ship? Uh -huh. Yeah. And because it's so incredibly plot light, I've brought additional guests. Please introduce yourself introduce yourselves additional guests. Hi there, I'm uh Chris and Phoenix. And I'm Hundred Hogs Gree. I am back in this nonsense once more. And yes, there is a ghost ship. What it was, was the longest dungeon in the game, and all it was was filled with, uh, two by two, or one by one but wait. square rooms. Oh, Kalon, you're so innocent. Now that I finished ghost ship, this fellow showed up, and he demands that I answer seven questions. You gotta answer the space ghost questions. Oh no. Seventh mystery. For the record, there are over 50 possible questions. Thank God for game facts. What? And I am just answering these essentially randomly. Why is like, one of those lovers? If I have an idea, I'll, uh, I'll select the answer I think is right, but I also select a couple I know are wrong. Does this matter for anything at all? Like this, for instance, is Admiral Banage. And of course, this is the Geo record, <laughs> as opposed to the frog log. Frog log. And this, haha, <laughs> good luck guessing this one, just out of the blue. <laughs> what? I mean, you can double back and check, but, you know. And this, uh. which monster is the tallest? The hell? Oh, jeez. Uh. And this... Three out of this seven. is how much of a bitch that this, these questions are. It tells you how many you got right, not which ones, or in what order. Yeah, that's the hardest part about this. What? Luckily, the, uh, the strategy guide happens to have every single question with every single answer in it. <laughs> oh, that's Dark Cloud. So, yeah. That was Dark Cloud. It was also Dark Chronicle in another localization, I think. Too bad. Well, that's not in America. This is the 4th of July. We don't talk about them right now. <laughs> Which of these is not an insector? <laughs> go, go on, guys. Just It's a human. I'm pretty sure it's a human. Was that wrong one? <laughs> um, if I take a while, it's because I didn't find the answer immediately. And I do want to double check these because... Oh, God. Which one does no. Raul leave in the church? Uh, Cosmolore? Yeah, I think that was Cosmolore. Oh my god, was I actually paying attention no. from that oh. video? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, I will say this. I, it is a benefit for me that I have to go through these things three times. Grilled fish? First to play, second to commentate, uh, third to edit, so... Dumplings? These questions are a lot easier for me than I suspect they normally would be. Ugh. Yes! Oh, dumplings, okay. Okay, uh... Oh, you didn't even do any of the Insectron yet, so that's just bullshit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, well, technically I could have. El Mojito sounds the best, so I'm going to say that. Mojito? Mojito. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm sticking to it. I think it it's the second one. not stick to it. Oh. Uh, it's Jinred. Oh, 10,000 years. Um, 50,000 years ago? No, 50,000 no. years ago was the Star King. Oh. Yeah, it's okay, 10,000. Okay, um... Christ, my fucking life. <laughs> I, no, I need to tell you this. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna interrupt. My uncle just knocked on my door, and he walked up, said, I'm going on a date, here's the girl's address name, in case I don't come back. And I'm like, uh, thanks, yeah, <laughs> cool. Okay, then. Well, well, that was a good time to, uh, tell us that, because I had a long... I had some real trouble... F finding this one in the guide. <laughs> you played this game! You did a let's play of it! You should know it was 10,000. I know, I just wanted to be certain. That one was 20,000. Uh, it was 20,000. I remember that much. Yeah, the second two are too low, and the first one's way too high. <laughs> Considering you're only at, like, 600,000. <laughs> Is this longer victory music? Yeah. Congratulations for looking yep. up some answers. 
key to the underworld. So is the underworld like a planet, or is it like an actual underworld? No, it's uh, this question mark right here that appeared after he vanished. Thank God. All right, and now let's not have to do those questions again. It's full of awful side quests. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was kind of fun. I kind of wish they left that around just for you to keep answering. Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to do it again. Yeah. How do we... Oh, okay. The option to do it again would be nice is what I'm saying. Open the key to the underworld. Well, actually, you'd open the door. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ghost Ship Extreme. Oh, God. So, Kalon Zombie, you remember that bit how you said the ghost ship was the longest no dungeon in the game? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why? Just like semi randomized and crap like that. No, no, this. No, b before it wasn't randomized, now it is randomized. Yes. Poor man, we have adding content. Thing already. You might notice I am intentionally avoiding all treasure chests because they are, at this point, utterly pointless. Now, here's the elevator. Oh no. Get that. Please get that dip tub work. Oh. You're gonna need it. They don't work. Oh. Not as well, teleporters. Why? They work as safe points. And full heals. But this is an endurance run. Once you start up the Ghost Ship Extreme, you cannot return to the floor you came from. Oh, I am so glad that I didn't play this game. I where this is. The patience. You have to start at the ground floor and work your way up to floor 100. Ah. Oh. How long are the floors? It depends. It really depends. It depends on how nice the dungeon is feeling, apparently. I'd say about... So could you, like, get a floor where the elevator is, like, right next to the elevator? Yeah. There are some like that. And there are some where... They are on the opposite side of the entire, uh, map. Wow. I don't know, by around, like, the 50th floor when I was doing this, I noticed, like, the elevators had, like, three different relative locations they can be in. The rest was just navigating the maze to get to that spot. Maze are never fun. Yeah, because there are actually two levels of randomization here. The first is that there are random floor maps. A certain number of them. Don't go screwing around. And the second is that random elevator locations. Why would you do this? You, here, you see how that you see the, that yellow dot there? That's the location of an elevator. Unfortunately, this one is turned off. Oh, that is just a dick what? move. What? <laughs> there is only one elevator that actually goes up to the next floor. And they're just like dummy, fuck you elevators. Here they come. This is... That's just mean. Ass. Malicious. This is like... <laughs> it's like, here's what I think of your JRPG, asshole. This is the worst thing I've seen since, like, Final Fantasy X-2. Like, all of that. Just the entire game. I think Final Fantasy X-2 had a annoying 104 random dungeon, too. <laughs> Those guys were no really? challenge at all. I, I, I never did all of the optional stuff. Like, I did bare bones, basic story. I made, I think I got the Dark Knight uh, dress sphere because it was, like, amazing. Well, lucky for me, I found the correct elevator yeah. on my second try. You can see in the back there, there could have been a third attempt. And the other nice thing about the ghost ship is that the encounter rate is low. Oh, good. Well, it's not as high as the regular ghost ship was. No, it's like, in the guidebook, it calls it low. Oh, that's not so bad then. Oh, thank god you skipped the floors. Oh, thank you! But there's low, normal, um, above normal and high for encounter rates. Also, Jupus talked, so he doesn't get to be in the party anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need him anymore. He's not story important. He can be out of the team forever. Well, technically, nobody's story important anymore. I don't know who any of these people are. Who's that dog guy? Here they come. I have not been watching the LP, I'm going to say right now. Um, okay, so remember that guy who voiced uh, Kit, some of the kids in Kids Next Door, that's Jupus's voice. 
No, I don't. You did Kids Next Door stuff? Oh, no. I don't remember that. We must retain our oh, um, what else was he in? Because he has a really annoying voice in the YouTube too. Did you see yeah. that triangle just now? Yes. We are on floor 10. Oh. On every 10th floor, there is a boss. Okay. Oh yeah, big room, I see it. Yep. These are the same boss rooms from the regular ghost ship. Are the bosses procedurally generated too? No. Oh! They are always the same. I think they're always set. These guys again. Well, sort of. Last time they were pirates, now they're, um... Just gamblers and magicians. Entertainers, I guess? Yeah. They like to call themselves illusionists. Now they're circus folk. Now they, they <laughs> call themselves the... Bizarro de Poirot, or whatever it was. Illusions, Michael. They're called illusions. So they're not looking that tough. Well, I took one of them down pretty quick. Super weak. Unfortunately, the others are kinda giving me some trouble. Too bad AP's maxed out. Particularly giving Digo some trouble. Ooh! And also Jaster. Ow. One blow! Yeah, there's no way anybody could survive that. Those maracas have got us super strong. Looks like they almost got down the last guy, at least. Yeah. It's like the AI is almost competent. I'm <laughs> losing it. Almost. Yeah, they're not really competent, just extremely overpowered at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... Also, you may have noticed Everybody's I... Everybody's level 69 except for Chester. I, I took some time and mastered all of the pop, uh, final weapons for everybody. I did some that cut down on the uh, terrible Thank you. videos. Really, by the time you got through half this dungeon, probably all of them would have been mastered anyway. Yeah. Possibly, but... Um, well, I used the special items you can get, which add to the uh, weapon stats. Oh yeah, that would probably make it really fast. Yeah, if he, if he mix them in toady. Like, they're these things that they don't increase the weapon's level, but they increase their uh, attributes. Hmm. So, well that was another 10 floors. Does the game also have attribute increasing items for your characters? Do they also have what? Like, can you... Are there also stat items for the characters as well? Mm, not really, no. Thank god, because that, that'd be too much. Yeah. Yeah, stats are specifically based on level. We're gonna win. Also, Digo is still awesome. And air support yep. still ruins everything in his way. Be careful. <laughs> we could be dealing with more. Okay, because Hogs hasn't been watching the uh, LP. Basically what the dog does is he calls in helicopters and then the helicopters shoot lasers at the enemies. Are they space helicopters? No, they're, they're like normal <laughs> helicopters with like lasers in Oh, you can summon them in space. Yeah. Yeah. So they're space helicopters. <laughs> and yet they aren't. That's the funny thing. <laughs> this is the same game that has special moves that destroy the universe when you use them, so you shouldn't be too surprised. Uh, only the planet. <laughs> Even when you're not on a planet, like now. And summon the gates of hell. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. literal gates of hell. That's the best part. Oh, that guy came from yes. the stairs instead of getting summoned in. So in space, is this just one hell? Do all planets share the same hell? Or they have all seven hells? Uh, apparently they all share the same hell. Because it's the same gate every time. Yeah, it's the same... You, you blow up the same planet every time, too. It's kind of weird. Sounds like they found near the cost of those atheists. So maybe... Here's the thing, you don't destroy the planet that you're on, but you destroy a planet somewhere <laughs> that looks like that in order to fuel your power. <laughs> and then right after all those workers spent month of, yeah, months of effort to rebuild it, you just blow it up right again. <laughs> well, maybe just it blows up, but all the matter's still there, so it has time to coalesce back into a planet shape, and then you can blow it up again. Because of gravity. Interjecting logic into anime games, the best! And blowing up a planet is really hard. You know how much mass planets have? Yes. A lot. Uh, a, a whole lot. And Earth more so because it's got, like, weird cores and stuff. It's mostly nickel. I'm pretty sure most planets have weird cores, too. No, like, Earth's gravity is 
heavier than what a planet for our size should be because our core has like I, I forget exactly what it has in it, but it has like really weird shit. Iron. I, I'm it's not sure. It's mostly iron, nickel, and radioactive elements. And also, we're not that particularly heavier than a planet our size should be, because other planets our size would also have iron cores. Yes. Like, for instance, Mars and Venus. I don't know. I, I read somewhere that our gravity is heavier than it should be. Well, it's heavier than the surface, than the surface rock would have you believe. That's something you can say for certain. Because all the heavy stuff fell to the middle, because it's denser. <laughs> also, by the way, okay. uh, I don't think I ever mentioned this before, but the game does allow you to break four digits when dealing damage. Oh yeah, that's right. Here, one bit. Advent of the Sun, for instance, just dealt 14,000 damage to everybody. A lot of damage. You, you told me that, and then I was like, well, looks like the damage cap might be 99,999 as opposed to 9, yeah, Except you'll never get even, like, more than 30,000 on the outside. Yeah. I remember Final Fantasy X, you had to do special uh, shit in order to... Yeah, you, you had to master a minigame for each yeah. character you it's wanted to uh, break the, break the damage normal cap. damage cap. Uh... And, like, it, and for me, it wasn't even worth it because I didn't even get their master weapons anyway because like seriously fuck Final Fantasy X <laughs> but uh, like it wasn't even worth it for me because I was even bare I don't think I was even doing like 3,000 damage per normal hit I think some of my summons were getting the eight to nine thousand though, like Bahamut and stuff yeah I think uh, for each character you get an ultimate weapon for you also uh break the damage limit for one of the summons, so that's really a more important reason, because they do a ton of massive one yeah. damage attacks. Summons, summons in that game are just utterly and completely broken. Okay, and so on every 30th floor, you encounter a shop. Hmm. Max out everything. Yep. Useful. So what level did you hit where next level experience just now takes 99... 1999 experience now. It, it was around level 60. Ugh. I don't think I actively I hit the level cap. Space hammer. Space hammer. This that was is neck. Like a normal hammer, but in space. It's a stump. This guy looks pretty threatening. Really? Our uh, iron hammer, you are incorrect. It's in space, so it still counts. It's a space iron hammer. Let's get this asshole out of here. Yep. Please. Thank you. Bring in my A team. Yeah. Dog team. Dog team is better. Here we go. We got a dog solution to this problem. <laughs> And then Digo's got this special buff that buffs both him and Zegram. Are they bros? Alright, let's get yeah. this over with. They are bros. They're eternal soldier bros. And let's spice the party up with a little attack boost. Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Just like four seconds. And that's why they're the A team. <laughs> So who's Mr. T? I would say Digo. Wishing to get through here. Yeah. And then, uh... Let's see, uh, Z Zegrim would have to be, um... Oh, what's his name? The, the cigar chomper, chomping guy. Who loves when plans get together. Oh, God, I don't know. He loves when a plan comes together. Yeah, yeah. I don't know much about the A-Team, except for the fact that Mr. T was on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever actually saw the A-Team. Oh man, I watched so many episodes of Lady Mother on her. Man, this so is too much. very... <laughs> well, welcome to the 40th floor. And the lady was Hannibal. Oh yeah. I was thinking Murdoch, but no, that's not right. Are we being tested here? Yeah, so Zekrom gets here to be Hannibal. Come. Here they come. 
the bastards. Those stumps are filled with money. Yep. Oh, they Aw, they didn't all die right away. Yeah. Aww. I mean, even the uh, the three-way combos don't guarantee death once you get up it into the uh, upper floors. Is it really safe I'm for pretty us sure Jaster, Kisala, and Zegrim's combo still can kill a lot of them in one hit just, just simply because it's so bullshit. Yeah, but here, here's the funny thing though, is that Digo's uh, covering fire we'll have to use our is actually pretty through. useful even late into the uh, ghost come. ship extreme. Here they come. It's just Bastards. that awesome. Yeah, even almost killing them is sometimes just as good as outright killing them. Yeah, you, you just yeah. need to use two gigantic combos instead of one. Oh. What's the next boss we got up on the floor 40? Let's find out. It's a griffin! Space griffin. Steel griffin. Para griffin. Here we go. Robo Griffin. Alright. Was there even an enemy like that in the game? Um, nope. I, I think there is something based on that model at least. Yeah, all these bosses are oh, like okay. reskins of different bosses or monsters. Yeah. Yeah. Like those three guys who were also one of the hunts. I don't think there's anything completely uh -oh. unique in the entire Ghost Ship Extreme. Even like the final one? Bullshit. Yeah. Wow. Lazy developers. All that work to fight a reskin of... I would reason to bet that programming this area probably took a lot less time than it takes to play through it. Probably a lot less time. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'll agree with that one. It's entirely possible, I will admit. Yeah, I think I... Uh -oh. tried to oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> you looked at me and I died. <laughs> Doesn't seem completely fair. Gave you the old stink eye, and then you just fell over dead. Yeah, I think when I tried to go ship extreme, I spent like over a week getting to like level 60 or 70 before I just gave up because I was tired of it. Yeah. It's just tedious bullshit. God damn it. Bob, and you are insane for doing this. He this really is insane. insane. I've said it before, but the. The only reason I managed to do it this time, because this is the first time I've ever completed Ghost Ship myself. But the only so, reason I managed to do so this time is because I had other things to do in the other half of my screen. Like lots of Mystery Science Theater episodes went into the making of this LP. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them. Uh, I've been, I've been watching uh, Zack Stone's Gonna Be Famous. That Bo Burnham show that was on MTV. Jupus talked really again. It. Out you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, Jupus, learn. Yeah, I think whenever I hit the long grinding sprees for my JRPGs, I just start catching up on all the LPs I've missed. <laughs> <laughs> Screenshot or video doesn't matter. It, it's all the same. Uh oh. Yeah, when, when you're playing, it, it's all the same. So I've been actually kind of lucky because every 10th floor is actually a pretty easy, uh, it's actually been pretty easy to complete for me. Here they come, bunch of whips. Like, as compared to the other floors that take between 1 and 10 minutes. Right. Time adds up. Over the course yeah. of 100 fucking floors. Are we there yet? Yeah. This is just... Oh, this one you enter from the top. I enjoyed Shadow Hearts Covenant, because they had a hundred floor giant thing, but then they they skip you past, like, this is 80 cool. or 90 of the floors. So it's like, they're just like teasing you, and then they, oh, nope, don't gonna do, do all that shit. Yeah, and then you... Oh, hey, it's a giant boss gimmick, mimic. Yeah, yeah it's the other giant boss mimic. Use the monography. <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Again. again. Oh, 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 wait. Oh. Okay. What? I, we thought that you were gonna go. monography shot and then jump oh, on its head. Oh, no. No. But what the hell's up with its head? <laughs> what? It's got the smudge frames. 
just noticed that. Damn, that was creepy. All right, my video seems to have desynced a little bit because YouTube just randomly pauses on me sometimes. So if I say stuff that doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. It's fine. We're just bullshitting for the most part. Yeah. This is not good. If only your HP went above. Like with other videos that have plot in them, that that might be a problem, but this one does not. This, this no. Just like, okay. This is just Effort. tedious bullshit. Complete tedious bullshit. So like, what level does the game expect that you'd be fighting the final boss at? Like, for difficulty-wise? 40 or 50? Be dealing with more than just beasts here. <laughs> but and yeah, you don't really have to grind to get those that, that kind of level. Although you do have to make sure that all of the characters uh, ha have been treated well, because you got to use them all. Yep, even Jupiter. And if you haven't, well, fuck you. <laughs> uh, fond memories of playing Breath of Fire too. <laughs> Fucking high for it. Yeah, this is about as bullshit as the bullshit moments of Breath of Fire 2. Yeah, that is about right. I have not played Breath of Fire 2. Well, um. Or Breath of Fire 1. Or Breath of Fire any number because I. About three quarters of the game, you go to a, a fort that you have to use this one character named Stan, who's this monkey guy. But he's kind of. And he's the most annoying character ever. Like, he's about as bad as Jupus, except without a voice actor. Yeah, so everyone just usually oh, shelves him, damn. but what happens is, if you go in, and you can't leave, and there's a save point, you get it so you're stuck with only him, and if you have, if you don't grind up a little bit, with like, maybe being in a fight one battle before you have to like, go back to the fucking save point. Well, how, how do you get as bad as Drupus without the voice actor, cause... Um, you get stuck in a solo dungeon, right past the point of no return. Yes. With very tough enemies that he alone cannot properly fight. Yeah, and in, the, in this game, if, if someone's benched, they don't get experience. So you, you might go in there with him like half the level of the rest of your party because you didn't use him because he sucks. And so you're <laughs> stuck until you can level him up enough to beat the boss you need to beat to get through. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting uh, fight right here. Against the, it's tiny. the killers. What? Yeah, bitty. And there's a ton of them. Oh, okay. Do they have a shared health pool? They're all different. They all have individual health, but they are all um, shown off in the Not boss good. bar. So the boss bar is a combination of every health bar of all of these critter critters. How many are there? Oh, jeez. A dozen, maybe? So wouldn't, like, yeah. air attacks actually be good so, because you just do damage? Yeah, actually, this is the one time you want to use as many area attacks as you can in a boss battle. Right, because look at the health bar. Whoa! Because this is applied to every single critter on the map. Yes, yeah, so basically more playing your damage by 12. Yeah. And normally bosses have resistance against the direct da damage abilities, but... No, that's still true. With this many, you can just spam it out. That's still true, it just, it just so happens that there are so many of them that it doesn't even matter anymore. I mean, because I'm using my best attacks here, and they're only doing four digits. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah. It's crazy. Nothing but tough guys, huh? And you're right near the ch save points, too, so you'll definitely have enough AP to use all of them like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are very nice and put the save point in front of Don't every single curious. boss arena. So, I can't help but notice, but we're going up to 470 right now, because I know you've been skipping levels for our convenience, but we still have, like, 20 minutes left in the video. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, Fast. man. And At the, the color, color palette change. changes a little bit between the different floors. Yeah, apparently uh, yeah. they get more sunlight up here on the 70th floor of space. Who would have thought? Yeah. I, I don't know. I didn't even notice the floors were changing colors. Covering fire still <laughs> annihilates everything. <laughs> and we're up to the third group of enemies now, by the way. Like the hardest group? No. There are, there are four. 
So okay, so this is the second hardest group. One, yeah, one group for every 30 levels. So this levels 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to, 7, to uh, 90, and then 91 to 100. Let's see what's next in our boss rush. Because it's not boss rush, because it's probably like an hour between each one. <laughs> It is. Oh, this dude! Giant angry Bafu. That really loves his spins. That's a flashy entrance. He's got some mad ups. Guillotine Eddie. Okay. That's a posy, but he's got like a big old bone, and you've got like you know, space metal swords and magic. <laughs> That's about an apt description of every boss fight, pretty much. <laughs> Except for the bone part. It's like a jawbone or something. That could be. But that's one hell of a jaw. Well, you, gotta, you just gotta remember, it's only an upscale version of the smaller one, so... It's probably the jaw of a space barracuda. <laughs> and, like you said before, this guy loves his mad ups. Thank you very much. Jeez. In fact, that's pretty much the only attack he uses. <laughs> well, way to abuse your gimmick, Eddie. <laughs> I've actually remembered his name. Uh, looks like he's got a gold chain uh, <laughs> belt. To him. That's an odd bit of detail. Flipping doesn't work with it. You can't just jump in the air and then start spinning when you hit the apex. You gotta start as you go. It's momentum. Nope. Nope. This is like Looney Tunes physics. Nope. Well, yes. Pretty much. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, it's an anime game. Come on. Yeah, I don't think they even bother to worry about physics in this at all. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. Alright, so much for the 70th floor. Yeah? How long are we gonna stand around here? Until the elevator comes to a complete halt. Jeez, Zekrom. Yeah, you wanna get your arms stuck in one of those doors. Ugh. I know. Okay, so I am still a little ahead. That'd just be gruesome. Yes, dear. If I made a, a nameless dungeon with, like, special floors, I'd make all the prime numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so they, got, they got less common as you went along. Well, it would be sort of an inverted boss rush, though, wouldn't it? Because it's on the second floor, then the third floor, then the There's fifth no floor. Over whether it's a trap or not. Yeah, then 7, 11, 13, 17, etc. Here they come! Ooh, Cosmo Kongs! Glad you guys know your prime numbers. Oh, I okay, I think I'm caught up back with you guys now. Awesome. <laughs> Fighting Cosmo. Yeah, right, he said Cosmo Kongs, the guy's here, so... They're monkeys! It's okay, I wasn't listening to him. They're not monkeys, they're apes. They would take offense to that. Apes are monkeys? They would, but I won't care because... I don't care about the opinions of animals. That's why I don't listen to random ninja. I'm gonna have trouble getting through here. What? <laughs> so does Jupus count as an animal? Yes. For the purposes of whether or not you should listen to him, yes. I'd rather have that frog <laughs> in the party. Well, eat the swords. The frog is amazing! And he barely fit through that door. Aw, oh, he's so puffy. Oh. Adorable. Oh. And this is the third time now that we've faced one of these guys. Yeah, but this time he's got fall colors. They really like this boss, this don't they? They Apparently. really do. Now, let's get this asshole out. Yeah, get out of here, Jupus. Nobody likes you. Literally, nobody likes you. Well, his we assistant kind of likes him. Probably because he pays him. <laughs> Probably. And <laughs> yeah, that explains a lot. I haven't gotten a steady paycheck since I worked for you, Jupus. Anyway, like the others, I gotta break that. It'll, just be, it'll be just like all the time, boss. You, me, and my giant paycheck. Gotta break that thing on his nose first, like usual. Bro, oh, that went down really fast. Yeah, well, I got better weapons all of a sudden. 
Yeah, but it's just like you didn't even use the strength star the first time. I mean, breaking the gem this time. Well, that's because I wanted to save it for the actual boss hit points. Like so. Damn! Holy shit! It's not like you can just buy more of them. Can you buy more of them? Yes. Frankly, this is realistic because in real life, fights don't actually last that long. It's just that you can only hold 20 at a time and they only last for, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds. So just use like two or three per boss and you'll still be fine if you have a shop every 30 floors. Yeah, well not every shop car carries every uh, buff item. Oh jeez, that's gonna suck then. I forgot that. Yeah. The, then uh, again, I don't think I ever used the strength star that much first time through. I really regret that now. Yeah. I wonder where this is. Yeah, considering how I abused that to take out the final boss in like record time. I'm getting increasingly worried about what the last like I don't know ten minutes of this video has to be because well I've just you know floor ninety. I was curious to see what a mimic would be like this high up in the uh, in the dungeon. Here we go. It turns out that they're still weak to being uh, iced, <laughs> which is really convenient. Yes. On the other hand, I just blew through an entire illusion sword, and it's and it's at half health. Wow, these things are pretty nasty. Yeah. I still say you just need to use the monography shot on them. That's all you need. Just yeah. Jump forever. Well, that's certainly true. Uh, it's not a good way of gauging how much. Uh, this looks kind of dangerous. How dangerous they are. True. All right. This is floor ninety now. Yeah, this is floor ninety. I think so. And there's the shop. Don't fall oh, yeah. behind, okay? So we're almost done, and there's. Still 13 minutes to go. Yep. I wonder what the hell those last 10, like, 10 to 7 minutes are going to be. Rewards. Um, okay. You gotta get loot for the massive dungeon. Here they come. Yep. Man, the only 100 level dungeon I liked was the one in Paper Mario. It was fun. Oh, yeah, Paper Mario found the door. That was pretty great. And you got to fight a giant bone dragon at the end of it. Frankly, the Super Paper Mario one was nice too, because they had a nice little platformer level and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not that big a fan of Super Paper Mario. It wasn't as good, I was hoping for more Paper Mario thoughts. Yeah. I never played Thousand Year Door, but I did play the original Paper Mario. Farther is Thousand Year Door is like ten times better than the original. I find that hard to believe, because the original was pretty awesome. Oh, hey, it's Erebus. Uh, yeah, and Good. and the Thousand Year Door is even better. Space Wizard with a stomach mouth. Except now he's Jabor. Jabor! See if you can take us. You know, I almost wonder if the Erebus was supposed to be a reference to the Dark Genie from Dark Cloud. It's entirely possible, given this, uh... Given this series? Yeah. Mm. Well, considering that was their previous game series. Well, yeah. Uh oh, gotta deal with that. And that one. <laughs> yep, one. Yeah. Uh, on one hand, I have to say I'm really glad they don't come back. But on the other hand, it does seem kind of like a waste. Also, I, I think I figured out what those little balls do. They possess your allies? No, they, they track around you and uh, deal damage if you come in contact with them. Oh, okay. Well, they move pretty slowly, so I don't imagine it's that big of an issue. Well, not until he gets all four of them out. Then they can be... then they can get in the way. And now he's got all four of them out. Oh, jeez. And you can see one of them, yeah, one of them just killed Kasala there. Before I got rid oh. of him. I think they're still around. Not anymore. Oh, there they go. We're gonna have trouble. 
lot of fruit. Fade away. All right, that was 490. Skills to the taste. One final four. Joyce. Song did it take you to do all this? Be careful. Um, long. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like more than a day. Okay, let's put it this way. How many mystery science theaters did you go through? Um, well, based on the clock when I saved, uh, it took about half an hour for every ten floors. Yeah. So it's like two episodes of floor. No, that's one episode every two, every uh, twenty floors. So five. Yeah, old. five episodes ish. Floor ninety one. Uh, actually, they're about a, uh, an hour and a half. So that's. Oh, okay. One every 30. Oh yeah, that's right, because... Here they come! So maybe like, three or four episodes. I'm actually using Flash Sword for this because it lasts a lot longer. Also, it seems to deal a hell of a lot of damage to these guys. Maybe they're weak for the lightning. Whoa! Good thing. Yeah, even after you get Illusion Sword, Flash Sword is still pretty good. It just doesn't have the double hit that an Illusion Sword gets. Yeah. Which is why Illusion Sword is mad awesome. Yeah, Illusion Sword's pretty ridiculously broken yeah. from the looks of things. Yeah, none of the other buff abilities come close to that one. It just keeps going and going. What? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, I left this floor in just because I got extremely lucky here in the uh the elevators were one, two, three, four, five, six rooms apart. Hmm. Okay, for a moment I thought you were going to take us through like the last ten floors no. just to show how it's tedious like... it was. No. Oh hey, I re remember that window. We met a uh, pillar ghost there. If only they had hey. the chains of music. The butler ghost. Or something. Butler ghost. What changed the music? We had the exact same scenery for a hundred floors. Why would you want to change anything? I know, because this is just amazing, right? They slightly tinted the floors differently. <laughs> Can't you see how much effort they put into making this ghost ship look as amazing as Digo it is? is still awesome. God. Great. <laughs> <laughs> show off in front of me, damn beast. No, it's supposed to. Be careful. We could be dealing with more than just beasts here. Yep. Yeah. And this is floor 100, everyone. Whew. Okay. Where do these beasts come from? So there's something unique about the final, final, final boss that you c encounter in this room. There has to be some sort of... Remember how I said that all of the uh, unwinnable boss fights were tied for second at 2,000 defense? Yes. The fellow in first place is in this room. He has 4,000 defense. Why? Oh, what? hey! It's... Okay, okay. Doppelganger. I was, I was just thinking there'd be a clone fight earlier, but I didn't say anything. It's Jaster's face on Seed's body. And right. Super Saiyan. Just over. like in my fan fictions. Actually, bringing Seed back doesn't annoy me, because that's actually yeah. kind of cool. And you'll note I brought in my A-team again for this one. <laughs> Eternal Soldiers, Twin Sword, Illusion Sword. Can't you just let us go? And then... And then a uh, Brave symbol to make this embarrassing. He actually uses, um, Seat's attack set. So for all those times that you wished you could have beaten Seat's face in... Oh jeez, he's going down. This is the time you get your revenge. <laughs> Like, and he has the best defense in the game. In the entire game. He also has the best weapons in the game right now. Double the defense <laughs> of anyone else, and you're not supposed to de be defeating them anyways. And I schooled him. Wow. And for getting up here... I get treasure. That chest isn't ominous at all. Certainly hope so. Yay! Treasure. Kasala swimsuit. Oh, for the love of <laughs> fuck! No. Fuck this game! Fuck and this game! And beach sandals to match. 
<laughs> I hope it's like e Damn I hope it. it's like swimsuits for every character. Like even like the weird looking ones. And a royal fruit. What's the royal fruit do? It's the reason why I haven't played Insectron yet. Oh. But I'll get more into that once we get onto the uh, proper videos about Insectron, which are coming. Now that I have a royal fruit. So, guess we ought to see uh, the thing that we uh, spent all this time. Uh, I think you can do it without this one. Yeah, I. I it's think it's too late. He's already recorded it. This is only a playback. <laughs> no. We can't stop no. it. Yeah, yes, also, we can. Also, beach sandals are the best shoes in the game. You can see there. Huh. Huh. Okay. Does it have an additional form? No, it, they're entirely yeah, unique. Put the put the raw fruit on your head too. Oh, it could have been worse, I guess. It could have been worse, eye. but like seriously, uh, this is like almost lollipop chainsaw level. No, see, so they should have gotten swimsuits for every character, including like, the big dog and like the weird alien guy. <laughs> that would have been acceptable. I would have been okay with that. Oh, and by the way, yeah. if it's worth doing once, it's worth doing twice. What? No. What? <laughs> what? No. Yeah, you have to go through the entire thing a second I time. I have to do it twice. Because there is something else you get for completing the Ghost Ship Extreme a second time. I am so sorry for you, Bobbin. <laughs> I am so sorry. Damn it. God damn it, Jap Japan. Fuck you. Shows outfit. Oh. Yes. Oh, and another royal fruit. Yep. Damn it, Japan. Wait, there's more video. Are those going to be for the two murder bugs you were talking about in the thread? I'll talk about that in the correct video. Oh, fine. <laughs> Until then... You're gonna have to wait and see, just like everybody else. We'll see Simon's final outfit. There's no way this can be better than the sweater. I'm just saying that right now. There's no way this can be better than the sweater. What if I told you it was radical plastic surgery? <laughs> Okay, it's a very, <laughs> very close second, but it's still not as good as the sweater. Uh, That's right, for completing Ghost Ship Extreme oh, twice. Show gets his face back. <laughs> Does he, like, actually move his mouth when he talks? We'll find out later. In the meantime, I've also killed everything. <laughs> for another 77,000 points. And an unbeatable lead in the uh, rankings. You get like almost twice the next guy. Screw you, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Dad. By the way, our dad w uh, is in second place, and he was in first place for a very long time. Oh, yo, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> but it means we've completed another portion of uh, Mio's checklist. Oh yeah, that's right, because you finished the hunting list. Yeah, that's the only way to Goodbye, do it. Goodbye, ghost ship. I never want to see you again. Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked, ghost ship. You know what, just leave the cat on the ghost ship and then leave. <laughs> Maybe Jupus too. <laughs> Give him someone to boss around. Who would be bossing around who? Obviously, the cat would be in charge. Cats are always in charge. Yeah, speaking of cats, there's one in my room right now, and she wants out, but tough luck, cat. You're going to have to wait another minute and a half or something like that. You are a bad owner for your pet. I mean, a bad pet for your owner. Because <laughs> cats own you. Oh, okay? yes. Oh, no. Alright, Mio doesn't really say anything different in post-game. Okay. So let's check them completions. You completed the hunting record. I think Ariana's sleeve. It's... Arena. Okay. Kasala's final outfit. Oh, and right. a pair of shoes that match it. <laughs> They're actually just normal shoes. <laughs> but they happen to match the outfit, so... Anyway, I've only got the Insectron left to do now. It only took you 90 hours to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope that clock is completely filled up by the time you're done. I think it might go into the hundreds digit. 
Because you know it has to. And there she is. Okay. That's... I don't know, it's kind of plain. That is an outfit. I, I can give it that. Yeah. Yeah, it's... that's a thing that you have. Culottes. Well... Wow. You've been playing forever. Why don't you call it a day? God damn it, Japan. <laughs> Did you hear what Kasala said? No. Because it was perfect. 